must be a really satisfying feeling to get out there, play so well, get a match under your belt. Yeah, so well, it was the first match this year in court one. Obviously, played a little bit different from the center court. Um, with all the construction, obviously, I think for next year there, there's going to be a roof on court one. So it's quite different from last year, to be honest. But uh, it was a very warm day, very hot day. wasn't you know wasn't easy to uh, you know to to play point after point in some long, long rallies. I think midway in the second set we had uh, some long games, uh, but overall. You know, from the very beginning, I managed to uh, you know, impose my, my own rhythm and, and play, play the game that I intended to play. And did you feel like you played at the consistently high level you'll need to to yeah. progress in this tournament? Well, I think I mean, definitely I, I feel better as, as, as you know, days go by in Wimbledon. I uh, have been in these particular situations before many times and I'll try to use the experience and you know, knowing what to do uh, on a daily basis and to, to get myself in the right shape right state of mind and, and hopefully the right performance. What's it like when you're playing somebody on the opposite side who professes to be a big fan of yours? He says he's a hero, you're his hero. Um, you've got to go and face him. He's got nothing to lose. You have everything to lose. What's that like? Well, I, I'm flattered, obviously. It's, it's very nice to hear that, that uh, you know, I, I that, you know, I inspired someone with, you know, with my tennis, obviously. I've I understand what uh, what that feels like. You know, I was looking up to many many players, and uh, obviously, I think it's his first his debut in Wimbledon. Uh, I, I didn't know much about him, to be honest, and I, I, I try to get as much as information as I could in the last 48 hours. And uh, well, uh, all in all, you know, obviously, it was a big occasion for him. So I'm, I'm sure he can't play better than than he did today. But um, from from my from my side, it was all working well. And finally, a, a quick word on. A potential next round opponent, in Juan Martin Del Potro, he's not finished his match as we speak, but uh, you've had an epic hit with him here in the past at the Olympics. Yeah. What about that prospect? Well, we had a couple of matches in the grass courts. I lost to him in Olympic Games for bronze medal back in 2012, and I won against him in semis, I think, the year after in 2013 in five set match. So, well, Delpo is, uh, uh, you know, he, he, he is a tricky player to play against on any surface, you know, with that big serve, um, especially on the, on the grass that is the quickest surface we have in sport. It's tough, you know, he, if his serve is going well and forehand, it's one of the most lethal, for, lethal forehands we have in, uh, uh, on the tour. So, he's, you know, he's, he's got the game, obviously, uh, you know, I, I've played him many times before uh, um, in my career, but especially this year. Um, but, you know, playing on grass is quite different. I'll try to trying to prepare myself well for that match and uh, you know get in the right shape we wish you well for that Thank you. and well played today. Thank you. Thank you.